Hello everyone, welcome to our senior project. The name of our project is Skill Court, and our mentors are Gummy Trotson and Jaime Boras. And as developers, we have Erico Oyarsson and myself, Andres Ruggiero. The purpose of this video is to make a demonstration on how to use Skill Court's website from a coach's perspective. As you may know, the purpose of Skill Court's website is to provide users a proof of, co of concept on what the final product will be about. So let's begin. The first, the first thing we should do is open our browser and type in the skill court domain which is skillcourt.com. Once we are in here the first thing we should do is register. It is very important that the username and, and email are both unique. It is very important also that the user that the email is, ver is verifiable because you will get um, a confirmation email that you have to click before logging into the system. So let's put our information. Phone number, gender, and in here you select if you want to be, if you want to create a coach or a player account. So let's select coach and let's click sign up. This takes us to the home page. Now we have to go to our email. And as you can see, I just got a recent email from School Court Password tell, telling us that we need to verify our account. We click the link to confirm. And the account has been successfully verified. Then we go back to our School Court domain, click login, type in our username and our password. And this will take us to the home page of our new coach pay, uh, coach um, account. As you can see in this in our card, we are a coach. Coach page has five um, tabs: home page, routines page, wizard, players, and uh, account information, which is your your profile name. We are going to start by explaining what each of these tabs are. The routines tab first shows all the all the custom routines you have designed for all of your players. The wizard tab is the one that actually lets you create all your routines. The players tab is the one that lets, lets you release or sign a new player. And the profile one takes you to your account profile information. Let's start with creating a routine. As you can see, we have steps and rounds, and you can create round targets or target sets. Let's create a very simple routine, which can, which is going to be a set of pads, right? We click finish step. We add a second step. Create a second step, which is going to be Let's say the four walls. We click finish step and then we click this button here that says finish custom routine. It is very important that all your steps and rounds are completely full before finishing your custom routine. If they are empty for some reason the system will advise you. So we'll click the finish custom routine. We give our routine a name which is going to be demonstration demo custom routine. We describe our routine. This is our first demo routine and click complete. Once you click complete, the page takes you to your routines page. In your routines page, as you can see, there's a table where you can see all your routines. When you click your routines, it shows your the routine description as well as persons you have that routine assigned to. Since we just created it, we have no no p uh, players assigned to those routines as you can see there are no players bound to this coach so that's that's what we we need to do first so let's go back to the players in the second tab search for a player to sign we click we have to input an existing username and click sign player when that's done the system will prompt you and say that the player was successfully added. Just for testing purposes, if we try to input a non-existing username and try to sign it, 
the system will tell you that this username does not exist. Right now, we can go to the routines page and select our newly created custom routine. In this view, we have four different options. We have the ability to assign, unassign, edit a routine, and delete a routine. Let's try and assign a routine to the player I just signed up. As you can see, the player I just signed up appears in our list. We click Assign, and then as you can see, it updates here that this routine is assigned to this player. We can also unassign a routine, which prompts the same list. You select the person you want to you want the routine to be unassigned. Click on assign. And as you can see, when you click this routine, it shows no one assigned to it. So now we can go ahead and test the two remaining functionalities, which is the edit and the delete. The edit routine, when you click your default, your custom routine, and you click edit, this will take you to your wizard page with the routine you just created. In here, we can edit any, any type of step, round, add, delete. For testing purposes, we are just going, for example, delete a step. Then we click finish editing routine, and this takes you back to your custom routine page. In here, you also have the fourth um, ability, which is to delete a routine. A routine can only be del deleted if it's not assigned to any player, of course. So as you can see, there's nobody assigned to it. So we can just go ahead and click the delete button, click OK, and then the, the, the routine you created just went away. As an overview, let's review. We went through the home page, the routines page, which shows all your custom routines, the wizard page, which, which lets you create uh, custom routines, Players page, which lets you lets you release and sign a player, and finally let's go through the account page, that shows you all your account information, lets you edit your profile, change any information you desire, besides username and email because those are unique data in the system. So let's change this, for example, and my last name. Click save. And as you can see in our card, the information was um, updated. This concludes the demo for how to use the Skullcore website for a new coach. Thank you very much for your attention. We'll see you soon.